who serve their country from West Kilbride. Those who served and gave their lives truly did give their today for our tomorrow and we owe them a debt of gratitude. That is why even though the First World War was over a hundred years ago and the Second World War finished 75 years ago, that we still come together and we come and remember. We are also aware that wars still continue all around the world, that there is still conflict and our servicemen and women are called into active service. It's important that we remember them also today. There is a cost to war and conflict. There is pain, there is misery. There are those who are affected forever. There are those who never came back. We remember today also the cost of war and we commit to work for peace in a world that lacks peace. In our reading, Jesus says that we are to love one another. Indeed, he commands us to love one another. In many ways, we might find that a strange thing. After all, surely love should be a natural thing, not something that needs to be commanded. But the fact is that sometimes we struggle to love our neighbor. Sometimes we struggle to love our friends. And we definitely struggle to love our enemies. But we are called to be people who love, who honor, and who serve one another. Why? Because God has shown us the way of love and his son paid the ultimate sacrifice that we might have life and hope. So today, let us remember. Let us remember those who have served, who continue to serve, those who paid the ultimate sacrifice. Let us remember to work for peace and to be a people of love. Let us remember and not forget. So we just join together in a moment of prayer. Let's pray. Our loving Heavenly Father, it's important that every year we gather here at the War Memorial that we lay wreaths and that we remember the fallen. That we remember those who have served their country in the world wars and all the conflicts since. And that we remember those who continue to serve their country all around the world. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the sacrifice of our servicemen and women. And Lord God, we thank you for their love for their country and their service. <coughs> Heavenly Father, we thank you also for the sacrifice that you have given to us in the Lord Jesus. We thank you that you have shown us the way of love. And we pray that we might be a people of love who work towards peace in our world. So Heavenly Father, we ask that you would hear our prayer now. In Jesus' name, Amen. Absolutely.